Today is finally the day, I think the smile on my face says the story, but Formula 1 2021, the game is here. It's official, we have it, and we're ready to go. In this video, I'm going to show you part one of the first episode of Breaking Point, the new storyline career mode. Now, as always, a big shout out to EA Game Changes for making this possible and me being able to show you this ahead of time. So a massive shout out goes to them and to Codemasters as well. Now, before we jump into the video, I want to mention one thing. Spoiler alert, okay? If you guys want to not have this spoiled for you, then maybe this isn't the video for you. So I do recommend maybe clicking away if you want to experience this for yourself first time playing a game. Having said that, if you guys want to watch on and enjoy the video, then go ahead guys, leave a like on this, let's try and smash 2,000 likes, subscribe for more daily content and F1 2021 content guys, um, we're allowed to do content starting from the 12th of July, so get subscribed for that because I'm going to be all over it, camera settings, wall settings, my team, I'm going to be on it, so yeah, get subscribed guys, I'm really, really excited and I want to try and maybe hit 100k by the end of the year, so if you guys can help me out with that, I'd massively appreciate it. Anyway, enough waffling, let's get into it. Well, here we are then in the game menu. As you can see, we have the breaking point screen right ahead of us. And as you can see, it says, take on the role of F1 rookie Aiden Jackson as he phases off against teammate Casper Ackerman and rival Devon Butler in this action-packed story experience. Now, in terms of difficulty, we're going to go for the hardest one, I think. You know, I'm pretty experienced in F1 games, so we're going to go for that. Now we have to pick a team for the 2021 season and I believe right now as I'm recording this we are still on the old performance model which is based off 2020. Um, you guys on the 13th on release will have a patch to update the car performance to 2021. So uh, based off that I think I'm going to go with I think Aston Martin is quite you know meh. I think everyone's going to go for Aston Martin. So I think we're going to go for I think we'll go for Williams. Why not? Let's go Williams. Let's send it. And uh, we're going to quickly run over the settings here. So assists, we're going to run everything off. You guys know the drill by now. I don't need any of that stuff. And then in the simulation settings, we're going to go for realistic surface. We've got unlimited flashbacks in case anything happens. And race starts on manual. So there we go. We're locked in and we are ready to jump in. Incredible race! Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric and we couldn't have asked for a better finish for the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. Oh boy, here we go. We're jumping straight in here. So Okay Aiden, you're doing great. Keep focused. You know what to do. Right, let's see how these cars handle. I just heard Aiden speak in the background there, but anyway. I'm gonna have to get used to these cars. It's been a minute since I've actually driven these. So we got Sergio Sete camera, finished first to win the championship. Fair enough. We've got two and a half laps to do it. This should be pretty doable. Let's see if we can get past set a camera here. Do we go for the lunge? No, not quite. I thought about it, but I'm going to try and line up here. We should get DRS. In theory, anyway. Yeah, here we go. Let's get set a camera. And that'll be P3 for us. We've got Mahavir Ragunathan up ahead as well. Where do I break? Oh boy, that was tricky. Just completely slammed on the brakes there to try and get the car slowed down. That's a bit too much towards the rear of the brake bias, but we're going to get DRS for a second time. Thank you very much, Mahavir. Let's go after Latifi next. Here we are then, tucked in behind Nicholas Latifi. Currently running in P2. We've got a great run out of uh, turn three there. We're going to have a little look around the outside here. Can we make that stick? Yes, we can. 
And now we've got Luca Giotto up next. I think I may have passed Latifi at the wrong point now because he's going to have DRS on me. So we may not be out of the woods just yet. Although to be fair, I've had a pretty decent exit. Gap is about half a second, so I think we should be okay here. He's closing in on us, but I don't think he's going to get close enough. There we go. So we stay ahead, and now we've got a lap and a half. Oh my goodness me, as we get airborne. I've got a lap and a half to get Giotto, but I think Latifi might get second helpings here because of that mistake. Is he going to go for it? He's closing in. I think he's a bit too far back again. There we go. So we can now chase down and try and win this race from Giotto. Here we are, last lap of the race. Let's get this move done. Feeling pretty confident right now. I'm actually super, super fast. Pretty easy to get up to speed in these cars, it feels like. Just having to wait behind Giotto. I don't really have a lot of momentum, which is a bit of a shame. Oh my god, I get forced onto the curb there. We take the bollard with us. As I have to avoid making contact with the Italian. Down to the hairpin. We're just going to wait for the DRS. And this should be a relatively straightforward overtake. There we go. Nice exit. Last lap of the race. A little bit of DRS. And this should do the trick. Looks like that Uriah and IV Toys. He has a bit of straight line speed to it. But we're going to... Go for the move anyway, go to the inside this time. And we're through just like that, into the race lead, and this, in principle, gives us the championship, I believe. Great maneuver. You made it look easy. Thank you very much, Jeff. And here we go, underneath the hotel. This is going to be it. Aiden Jackson is going to win the Formula 2 2019 World Championship. And we're going to get the win and the fastest lap, I believe, for the final corner. Do we get any fireworks for dramatic effect? No, we don't, but still, we get a checkered flag. Fantastic work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Yes! Come on! And he's done it. Jackson's done it. Aiden Jackson wins the F2 Championship. What a win for Jackson. What a win! And it couldn't have gone to a better driver. A magnificent result. He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Mercedes in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. And here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming, but out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Kasper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Kasper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, he's pictures all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Kasper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? Aiden, just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans? who are calling you the new Devon Butler. <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> okay. 
you come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's going to be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. <sighs> Come on, Aiden. You've got this. Mate, that... <laughs> <laughs> that is so sick. I, I can't get the smile off my face. Um, right now, though, we are in some kind of office. I'm going to press some buttons here. Can we cycle? Yes, we can. Okay. Hey, look at this. Shout out, uh, X-Mate G on the, on the tablet. Good to see you, mate. Uh, ooh, got a notification. That's Brian. Let's, let's accept that. Hello? Aiden. Are you in your room? Oh, hey Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Are you hooked up to the lot? Just do me a favour, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. Right, so let's go to the emails, as um, Brian mentioned. So, summon Roberts. Oh, we've got another phone call. Okay, fair enough. It's Mum. What does she want? Hello? Hello, love. How's it going? All right, Ma. Yeah, it's going all right. I'm just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, I guess. But aside from that, you were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. Oh, real. Shout out, Mum. Shout out, Mumsy. Right, um, emails. So, um, first and foremost, we've got a good luck email from Casper Ackerman. He says, I noticed that you left your paperwork over in the garage. So I handed it into your PA. You can thank me later. And hey, good luck out there today as it is your first race. But let's see what we can do together. Nice. And then we've got uh, Jeff Nelson. We can preview. This is just a standard one, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. If I can find the right button to have a look. Yeah, there we go. Um, all right, fair enough. And then Sam Roberts pretty much welcoming us to the team. So, lovely stuff. Right then, so we've done that. We've done the, the social and the news. Looking pretty sweet as well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to jump into things here, I believe. I'll have a look at these menus, but we're going to go to the race. Ooh, okay, we're jumping straight in here. So, first round of the season, nine laps remaining. A solid start, Aiden. Let's try and push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead, let's try and bring you two closer together. The gap to the car ahead is 1.5 seconds. Okie dokie. So let's try and get our teammate. Catch up to Ackerman before lap 11. Oh my god, the back end's a bit loose. Alright, let's go hunting. Let's see if we can chase him down. We've got to get Ricardo first and foremost. He's between us right now. The low speed is very, very slippy. No grip at all, but we've got DRS on Daniel Ricardo here, so we're going to use a bit of the overtake. We'll try and get him into turn three. And test out the late braking skills that we have in this Williams car. Nicely done through one and two. Oh my god. Whew. Car completely snapped on me there, but we're going to have a little look under braking at the home hero, Daniel Ricardo, And we've got it done. Up to P13. Three places ahead of you right now. Copy that. Magnuson next. We're going to stay on board here. I thought I could maybe get him into somewhere else rather than the usual overtaking spots. This could be it right here. 
We know that he's got that Ferrari engine, which of course the 2020 engine was a bit poor on the hard tire as well, up the inside. We're flying right now. Devon Butler is next in P11. Here we go, now we're talking. This is gonna get spicy. So we'll have DRS. You're closing in on Casper now, Aiden. Good job. Yep, cheers, Jeff. Let's try and get Devon here. DRS open. In P10 at the moment. Yep, don't worry, I've got it, mate. We're gonna pass him straight away here. Use all the energy. And we're through. And up into P11. And up next, Casper Aikerman. Let's go get him. We should be on the back by the end of the lap, hopefully. and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other though because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack too. Hey, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's okay. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11. On oh, this can't work and it doesn't. Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well. Is he okay? It's Casper OK. He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it. I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Williams garage tonight. There will be, Crofty, for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact. And Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely. And I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson. Not how his F1 race debut should have gone. That is sick. I'm guessing now we've got to... The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aiden? Hmm. Yeah, car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. So, we've got to finish the race. That's the only objective. Could we repass Devon with wing damage? I guess we're about to find out. How bad is the damage? Apparently, fine. <laughs> no damage at all, so we can definitely repass Devon, so let's get after him, let's try and make amends. Norris and P9 isn't too far either, so we can definitely get a few points today. Let's try and pass Devon for the second time, unless we get another cutscene where maybe he shoves me off, who knows. But nicely done through the final sector, we've got ourselves within DRS range, we can now go for the pass. We're going to wait until after turn 2 as we set a new fast lap, that'll be an extra point the bosses I'm sure will be happy with. Now we can send it. Here we go. Butler defends. No use though. We go around the outside, get it down to the apex, and we are through. Let's try and get a couple more. We've got Norris up next. Nice move. Good job. I think we could probably get Albon as well. So let's go for it. Lando's next. DRS. And now a bit of energy as well. We're going to try and go for the exact same move as last lap. Another fastest lap as well. This lap of the race so far. Absolutely flying right now. This Williams feels decent. DRS open. I think we're a little bit far back here. Might have to go for the send. Mm, not quite. Lando locks up though. Struggling to follow though. Dirty air playing a bit of a part here. But let's see if we can surprise Lando Norris with a bit of a move. We're going to go for it here. Full power. Up the inside. We just slightly touch. But we're through, and uh, we're now P9 in this race. Looks like we could be looking at a little two for one. Around a second faster than the car ahead. Keep this up. Yep, Albon and Gasly battling away right now. And uh, we are flying. We're showing some good pace. How my tires looking? Everything looks pretty decent right now. We'll try and pick them both up, if possible, this lap. Albon's going to be the first one. I'll see if I can surprise him somewhere. Catch him off guard like I did with uh, Lando. Not here though, I'm going to wait. Maybe out of here though, if I can get the exit and accelerate off the curb. There we go. Beautiful. Just going to tuck in here. Now we're going to hit the battery down the inside of Alex Albon. Sorry, Tomo. Apologies, mate. Now Gazzy up next. And if we finish P7, that'll be more than decent. That's P8. You're now in P8. Yep, cheers, Jeff. Trying to get the drive through there. Here we go. Line up Gasly for the move. 
thought he was going to go defensive there. But he didn't, but we get the car slowed down. And there we go, job done. And P7, and it passes up. I think Williams should give me a pay rise, to be honest. Definitely a pay rise. Hamilton takes away the fastest lap, 24-5. Fair enough. <laughs> More or less what I expected, to be honest. There we go, Hamilton wins it in Australia. I'm draining the battery, pushing as hard as I can here. I want to try and get my fastest lap back right now. We're on calls for that. Just need to make sure I keep it tidy in this final sector and we can get an extra point. Meanwhile, we've got Leclerc and Sainz battling up ahead through the final few corners now. Bring it home. Drain the battery to the line. There should be a new PB and fastest lap. And there we go. Job done. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Another superb Australian Grand Prix comes to an end. And it's a thoroughly deserved victory. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia at... The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport and it will be interesting to see how the new Williams driver Aidan Jackson settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh, Butler. Ahem, um, Devon, I didn't see you there. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't settled in yet. 